guys it's your girl precious and welcome back to my youtube channel i'm back like i told you and you know it's a new thing we've got a revamp everything well i love I, I love everything so guys please don't forget to like subscribe and click on the notification bell so that you can know every time i post and share this with your family and friends to get them started on the road to financial freedom do not advance alone help others go with others because guys you don't want to be lonely at you know the peak of financial freedom right you don't want to be lonely out there so guys today we're going to talk uh it's it's like a beginner's guide to 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 to, to stock market investing uh so this is like the guide that i actually made uh in order to help you guys to start this should be the start so uh, it is it is in no order please it is in no order uh but then i'll try in the in 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 the description box to actually like put them in order but i feel like it depends just make sure that you do all of them before investing or when investing um yeah so let's get started i've written everything in here i've written everything in here like here, in here. so i'll be reading okay because i cannot memorize everything like i know what i want to talk about but then yeah so number one understand the difference between trading and investing guys it is important to know what you are are you a trader or are you an investor know that it is important to note are you a trader or an or an investor and i've made a video about trading versus investing um you, you can look for it and i'll also leave it under the description box trading versus investing because it's two different things very very different so guys what makes it mostly different is the time frame traders traders like just buy and sell frequently and then investors usually go long term from like a, a, a longer period six months a year and and so on and so forth but traders they can buy today and sell tomorrow or buy this week and sell next week so that's the main difference between trading and investing is the frequency is the frequency how frequent are you buying and selling so if you mostly investors just buy you can find that they, some someone buys a stock for, and leave it and hold it for like five years but a trader no if they hold it for a month it's like yeah but then they hardly so yeah it's it's, it's basically that that's the difference so no way you stand are you a trader or are you an investor because if you do not know if you're a trader or investor you wouldn't know what to do because you have to approach these things differently traders and investors do not look the same stock the same they don't look the same stock the same and they don't look for the same things so it's important to know what you are doing are you trading or are you investing if you know the answer to that question, then you can go forward. Know that before anything else, this is like number one. I I know I said that it is in no order, but number one, know if you're a trader or an investor. Okay, number two, identify your risk appetite. So before investing, you have to know your risk appetite whether it's in the stock market or whatever know your risk appetite no okay are you willing to lose it lose like you have to know that okay fine this is the kind of risk i'm willing to take you know but if if you're a person like me nah, like, like i'm risky like i risk it all i risk it all so if you're like me like you you win you lose it's okay so you have to know your risk appetite because some investments like cri like cryptocurrencies hey <laughs> when you go there there it's tough like you you have to be someone like me like you have to be willing to lose it all if you're going for crypto so guys know your risk appetite between crypto and the stock market i feel like the stock market is bad crypto you is another story crypto is another story as much as they're both volatile i feel like crypto is mostly volatile so yeah so uh, another thing is that you should set up an emergency fund 
So before starting to invest, set up an emergency fund. This will help you that when you have an emergency, you don't pull out your investment because you might find that you have a situation at home or a personal situation and you want to solve, but you do not have the cash because your cash is in an investment. And now you have to sell the investment prematurely in order to solve the problem. So it is better for you to actually do it. Have an emergency fund so you know that when you have a problem, you have some way to actually take money from and then you go do your investment. That way your investment will be safe. You will just you will just keep on rolling while you know that you have an emergency fund. I have a video about an emergency fund on this channel. Guys, I have a lot of information on this channel. If you can like actually check it out, you can actually find many useful things. I have a video about it, how to create it and everything. What is it? So yeah, go check it out. And then I'll also I'll put the link on the description box. So another thing is diversify your portfolio guys diversification is very important when investing diversification is very important when investing okay diversification are like differs but it's, it's, it means the same thing it means that you, you do not put all your eggs in on one basket you know so when we talk about diversifying your portfolio it can be your stock market portfolio, like mainly stock market, or it can be your whole investment portfolio. So if it's we're talking about uh, your investment portfolio, we're saying that don't only invest in the stock market. Try investing in a fixed deposit account also. Also try also investing uh, in the crypto if you can. And also try investing in like a business, an actual business. You can invest in your own business. So diversify your portfolio or in, or invest in the property, buy a property or those kind of things. So that's what we mean. But, but if we're saying the stock market, we're saying that don't buy into one industry. Don't only buy banks. Don't only buy retail. Don't only buy logistics company. You know, diversify your portfolio. That's what we mean. But I have a video of diversification and everything uh, up on my channel. You can check it out. And yeah, let's move on. Uh, another thing is know when or why you will sell. So you have to set targets. When are you going to sell it? Do you have like a percentage maybe of profit that you want to make off of the investment? Do you have like... Um, Maybe a time frame after five years, maybe you have a goal that, okay, uh, after five years, I will need this money. I want to buy a house. Maybe your goal is to buy a house. Then you're going to sell when you want to buy the house in five years time, you know? So that is very important to know when or why you're selling. And then uh, uh, do your research. Doing research is important do research if you're going for the stock market know how to pick your stocks what criteria are you going to use to pick a stock what what makes a good stock what kind of investor are you are you a value or a growth investor i'll make a video about a value and growth investing what kind of investor are you so those things you have to actually research and this channel can actually help you out with a few terms and few things that you need to know so if actually going through my channel can actually help you start your investing journey. As I'll be updating more information and more information and more information, you'll be gaining more knowledge and you'll, you know, you'll be doing better and better and better every time. So lastly, do not use your emotions. Please, when it comes to money, put your emotions aside. Do not use your emotions when it comes to money. Use the facts use your knowledge use your experience but do not use your emotions okay so guys um i hope it helps you and i hope that you learn a lot from this it's your girl precious and don't forget to like subscribe click on the notification bell so that you can know every time that i post i hope this helps you kickstart your investing journey